Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be doing, this is the second video I'm creating this, on this game today, Noob vs. Zombies Tycoon. And, and it's kind of like a tutorial start off to see, to get, you know, to just get into the game, you know how to play and know what to, how to do things. So for this, for this, uh, my other video is how to play a tutorial on how to play in Z-Day. So and now we are going to do a tutorial in how to play in the other game modes. So let's get into it. So let's just wait for this to load in. There we go. Go into Idle Tycoon. Now let's find a lobby. Could do this. This might this might be good. Let's go ahead and try out the server. But yeah, guys, um, for this game, as you can see, there are two different teams, zombies and noobs. Both teams are pretty much the same, so don't be, like, pushed to be on a different team than another, honestly. They're both extremely even games, so, yeah, keep that in mind. I'm gonna skip the tutorial. You guys can look at the tutorial, but I'm gonna skip it, because I don't need it. And now we're gonna start the voting for the teams go in here <clears throat> so yeah you see there's two doors over there there is a uh, noobs team and zombies team so we're just gonna do normal onslaught um, onslaught game mode I don't the, the, um, old warfare and onslaught they're pretty much the same thing uh, same concept same game mode but yeah onslaught's a little easier to get used to so I'm gonna be doing this on leader. There are two different um, roles you could play on a team, either leader or fighter. A fighter would go out and fight, of course, you know, get weapons and different gear to help out your team. Leader would be, you know, placing down, you know, infantries to spawn in, um, uh, allies to help you fight, getting money, putting in all these types of different things to help out. So as you see, I'm on noob's team. This guy really wants to get in. And it's gonna load me in. I'm gonna be the leader of the noobs team. <clears throat> I will also be making some gameplay videos of this. So yeah, also sorry about branching off again. But, you know, I just thought this game was pretty cool and you guys might enjoy it. So I'm gonna skip the tutorial for this too. And you just click over here to be leader. So, here you are. You may be like, okay, I'm here. Now what? Well, to start off, you're gonna work on... Go over to the economy. Put down a. Now this is for your team. This is for the people that are going to go out and fight for you. So I'm going to put a shop there so they can, as soon as they come out, they can get in, grab their loot, and go out. The bank. Banks are will help you to so increase your how much money you can gain. As you see, that guy just joined my team. Here, let's see if we can zoom in enough. should be coming out of there very soon yep you see right there now we're gonna go ahead and to start off with it is best to wait until I have enough money to get um, a coin drill they're the best source of income that you can get so I'm gonna it's best to just save up and wait for that Okay, so another thing you're gonna want to do as soon as possible when you get the opportunity is go to defense. And this is just a basic tactic to get it into this game. So we're gonna go ahead, this wall down here, wall down here. And you're also gonna want to put a gate down. Oh, we need some more coins for that. While we're waiting, I'm gonna explain a few things around here. So this down here is different things you can use to um, fight the other enemies. So as you can see there, it shows there's an enemy coming in. Oh, never mind, he looks like he's walking away. So in the support and if you wanna get the stuff, you need to get a research building, cost 3,000 coins, put it down in it, and you can buy these. Uh, missile strike, you can literally just go up to whatever point you want on the map, spawn some missiles down, and boom. It's results will lay there so I'm gonna put the gate down let that construct now I'm gonna save up for a coin drill 
But yeah, I'm gonna keep explaining. So over down here, it shows your kills and stuff. But this is for people that are like going out. So your population, very very important for spawning in allies. You can use infantry spawners, giant spawners, and boss spawners to help you um, go through. So over here is where you can spawn in all of your um, things in your infantries. You can get uh, spawn power by, of course, in here upgrading your spawn power so you can get more spawn power total noob king you can spawn that in and in the boss spawner and more that you level up your town hall or your oh uh, i can't think hometown you can get better stuff see that's like the best boss you can get i think it's extremely powerful zoom and see my teammate over there he's just kind of looking around and zoom out. So let's go ahead and check how much money we have here. We have around 700. Okay. So, okay, a few more things here. This server is getting pretty full. A few more things here. Um, defensive is good for like, you can get Gatling turrets and a missile turrets. These are very good for um, protecting your base from, let's say, um, planes and bomber planes and not nuke strikes but just all types of different things that the enemy could throw at you plasma turrets are very good for attacking ground enemies generators are good at powering them and yeah in offense all of these things are going to be used to spawn in helpers so infantry will spawn in allies factories will spawn in tanks and stuff giant spawners will spawn in giants Helipads will spawn in heli different types of helicopters and airports. It can spawn in planes, different types of planes, and a boss spawner to spawn in bosses. Now, in here, just the last thing is recovery station, and so I'm pretty sure we have enough for a Quinjo. Yep. Okay, so you're gonna want to do this because if you don't then um, you're not gonna get as much money face point your coin drill just rotate it with R and point it so the drill part right there is facing into this little dirt pile there that's where you're gonna get the money from so let's go ahead and come out here this will also show how you can be a good fighter so I'm gonna sh I'm gonna tell you the controls so you're gonna pull out your fists go out and just fight some of these hobos and survivors out there get the loot hold F on PC to pick up their weapons and they drop and, and hold X on Xbox to do it also another tip is I would not advise you be a um, leader on Xbox because it doesn't work you see most of the controls here are, are of course on Xbox so we need a bit more coins as soon as it gives us a few minutes there we go now right now since we don't have actually a lot of money income Go to here, start upgrading this as soon as we can. We're going to get some miners. So, of course, you can upgrade the builds and just keep communicating with your teammates. You should probably um, click on team so then you can do team chat so only your team can see it. Okay. And, you can, of course, you can see the health. Now, if this town hall right here gets destroyed, then the game's over. So, that's why um, it's very good to... You know, get everything prepped up. Let's see, what else can I showcase? I mean, that's kind of like the basics of, you know, how to get started as a good leader. Honestly, if, just follow like a good plan of helping out your teammates as much. Upgrade the shop a lot, because if you upgrade the shop, you can get better weapons. So, I guess we're just going to play a, few, a bit of this game on here. I'm not, I'm not gonna record the whole game because games could last hours, honestly. <laughs> Let's see, how full is this server getting? Wow, we have five teammates, including me. Let's go check out, and what's cool is you can even go check out the zombie space, so let's go ahead and check this out. It's my W, for some games it's annoying, but you can't hold W to move super fast forward, so you need to tap it. You can see there's a zombie going across the bridge there to try to attack my team. This is a noob over there, one of my teammates. Let's go ahead and check out what they're doing over here. Let's see, how good is this guy? 
he's won three rounds he's rank three so he's got he's got infantry spawners already spawning in stuff as you can see there you grab an infantry spawner you put it down grab whatever you want to spawn put it in there and you're good so yeah it literally just looks like he only has infantry up for himself right now let's go ahead and back okay this is a tedious process now isn't it man see here one of my noobs it sees it see right here how the walls kinda like like it's damaged here and it, that means it's been damaged and it, you, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and demolish this wall and repair it there's no way to repair a wall unless you have a hammer which you can buy from the shop See, as you can see, I need to get to upgrade my bank so I can get more coins. So as soon as that thing demolishes, we'll put this new wall down and then I'll... There you go. You can see we're actually getting a good amount of money. See, $2,000 already. So I'm going to go ahead and upgrade that. Random thing there. So... Got some... It also tells you here if your leader has upgraded anything because it, it just said I upgraded both bank and the shop. So I'm going to go ahead and let's buy some miners here. There we go. There, now we can get lots of income. I like to focus on as much possible income as possible. I said possible a lot there. Because um, really, it does really help out a lot getting later things so we're actually going to start spawning in stuff now because I don't want to be left behind it's best to place these infantry near the gate because if you spawn them farther back then it will just take longer for them to get out and not very smart NPCs you know I, I used I used to spawn them all like back here and they would get stuck on the wall and it's just a big waste so a good thing you can do is turn on auto spawner it will autoly put things in here so you don't have to and use your SP so you're also going to want to upgrade that here and there. So as you can see, they're fighting out there. He just beat him. Let's see if he can. my teammate can kill the other zombie. Oop, he just got hit. And dang it, he wasn't able to defeat him. Luckily, I'm. it's about to spawn in some more dudes. So let's see here. What is he getting shot by? Oh, there's a plane. Right here is a rebel plane. They'll spawn in randomly, and they're not designated for one team. They just attack any team, anybody on the battlefield. So, sadly, he's coming straight for our section, which is very unlucky. Can't really do anything about it at the moment, since I don't have anything. I don't really have the setup here yet. We're just going to need to leave them to do that. Zombie's base. It looks like someone or something got into the zombie's base. I think it's because they didn't place a wall in and someone managed to get in. That's why you always want to place a wall in so then people can't just walk into your base and, you know, just do whatever the heck they want. Go ahead and place a few coin drills here. This game may seem a bit boring at first, but it honestly gets extremely crazy. And later, in late game, it gets it gets mad like it really does so I'm gonna go ahead and put a watchtower right here looks like there's a zombie actually doing something so you know what I'm gonna do I have a trick I'm gonna open the gate so then let's see here so except he's gonna come in by instinct he's gonna come in and he's gonna attack us but that's okay because I have a plan as soon as he, so I close the gate, as you can see there, and he can't get out, and now my teammates can hopefully take care of them, of him, and it's okay because there's something we can do here, grab a research base, okay, we're taking some damage, you know what, I'm gonna do this real quick, I'm gonna quit leader position to kill him because none of my teammates seem to actually be doing anything about this, so here we go, now he's doing something. There you go, now they're gonna kill him. 
So I just didn't want him to destroy the wall, but look what I can do. So now you can see we took some pretty heavy hits there, and that stupid rebel helicopter just managed to get in our base. It's annoying, so I'm gonna buy this right here. It's a regeneration, and it will regen our health. That's what I like about it. So I just have to plop it down, and it will heal up a good chunk of our health. This isn't, let's just say, the vet very good start at all. Not a good start. I'm gonna go ahead and put a Gatling turret there, so hopefully he can take care of that. This is really annoying. This dang rebel turret. This rebel thing. There you go. See, he's doing work. So if I plop this here, as you can see, right there, it's healing up our health just a little bit surely. Let's see, how much damage is the rebel turret taking? I can't see, but it's taking a good chunk. Now we just wait for the regeneration thing to get ready again and we plop another one down and we can plop another one. So we'll have this turret take care of it and then I'll probably de demolish it for money back. There we go, gone, refund. There we go, just needed to take care of that rebel turret. So now that we have officially taken care of that whole crazy situation, we can spawn in some more coin drills. <clears throat> See, we're doing a pretty good start here. Let's see, how full does the lobby get in? It's pretty much staying the same. You know, it kind of, it can change really quick. It can be from like, just a uh, lobby like this, like a, just a, a pretty big lobby, but not something too big. So it's like a 10 player per team lobby. And it, it just gets really crazy, like really crazy. Like there's it enemies constantly battling. It's crazy, but it is very, very, very fun. So I'm gonna here get some factories. These can spawn in really good tanks, which can be extremely helpful. So I'm going to spawn them in here. The reason I'm spawning them right here is so they can get out easily and because I want to protect my coin drills. They cost a lot to spawn, and especially if I upgrade them. So I'm gonna place Actually, I'm gonna, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and leave that there, leave that there, leave that there. I'm gonna go ahead and get a giant spawner. Spawn in giants at any time. Get rid of that. And demolish that. See, I'm already getting carried away and I'm not even thinking about how the recording, so I'm gonna only record for a few more minutes. But I think you guys get the general idea of how to play this game how to enjoy it. So I'm gonna put in one boss spawner because we don't need any more than that. Should be just enough. And we're gonna go over here, go to here, go. And now as you can see, we have lots, lots more spawn power. Now what I can do is since we have a research facility, we can upgrade that, go ahead and do that. And see, we've got a pretty good setup here, you know? We've got good income, upgrading coin drills, we've got enemies going out fighting on the battlefield here, as you can see. And we've got a pretty good game right here. It could turn into a lot more, so I think there's another rebel plane. Not even. There actually is. That is really annoying, actually. So I'm gonna spawn that in. But, yeah guys, I hope you get the general idea. I will be doing gameplays, so it's not. it won't just be tutorials. Okay, can't spawn that in, sadly. But, yeah! That's pretty much how you play it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will be posting another video at the same time as this. It will be teaching you how to play Z-Day the game mode, but I hope this helped you guys know how to be a leader in, the, in this, and how to be a good leader for your team. Hope you guys enjoyed, and bye-bye!